Back in 2015 was when I really started to take shooting seriously. And what I mean by that is start trying to invest in the skill set of shooting. And I started training in a way that furthered my skills. But what that journey took me on is also investing in other gear. And as I kind of started exploring into the world of outside the waistband carrying or you know, OWB setups, I got into plate carriers and armor and things like that. I just started experimenting with different setups. I started realizing that my reloads from my chest rigs or my plate carriers were really slow. And initially I just made the excuse that I believed that it's just because there's retention, they're a little harder to get to. You know, th these mags all tight together, it's a little hard to get your hand around them. So I just kind of wrote it off as it just is what it is. As I started training more and shooting more and more, I started to realize that that's not necessarily the case. And while there are benefits to both having a mag mounted or a belt mounted mag carrier versus a chest rig, and there's areas that both will shine versus the other, if you train with both enough, you should get your times pretty consistent. And my hope for this video is to break this down, show you some reload drills with rifle and pistol, both from the chest rig and my belt, and just compare. You know, I'm not a professional shooter. I'm not the most skilled marksman out there. I'm not the best guy to come to for all things firearm advice, but I've learned a couple things and I'm hoping that this video at the very minimum presents some data that helps you out in some way. So the first way we are going to test this and experiment is with my rifle. So what I did downrange is I have one of our USPSA cardboard targets and I put it down there at 10 yards. And we're gonna start out on paper first. We're gonna go down then and check the hits and all that stuff. I am gonna time each uh, drill that I run. So let's get geared up. So right now I have an empty mag. We've got one in the chamber. Just check my dot. Good to go. So to start, I'm gonna reload from my belt. So on the timer, we're gonna do this all with the rifle from high, high ready. All right, so that time was a 3.55. I'm gonna show you this one time. I'm not gonna waste your time and show you the shot timer every time. I feel like that's unnecessary, but that was a 3.55. One thing to note is I have not shot at all today. So this is 100% cold. Make sure we're empty. Got one chambered, let's do that again. All right, that was a 3.66. Let's do it again. Three point one two. All right, one more time with the rifle. We're gonna really try to burn this down. I'm gonna see if I can get below the three seconds. All right, that was a 3.15 and I threw that round pretty far to the left. I felt that as soon as my dot landed on target, I broke the shot and it was off to the left. So now let's do the exact same thing, but instead of reloading from the belt, we're gonna reload from the chest rig. And a lot of folks, including myself, when I got into chest rigs, you kind of wonder which way do the mags face? How do I orient everything? How do I grab my mags? And I'm just gonna show you real quick what I do. I tend to not overthink this. There's a lot of folks that are like, oh, you must like slam your chest, get down in there, really rip up with a beer can grip. And, and the reality is that's fine with certain plate carriers. But when you get into a chest rig like this with a lot of retention and the mags are really tight, sometimes you just really have to come up from the bottom. And I typically like the bullets to be point, uh, pointing toward my right side. So again, it just gives me an easy way to rock them up into place. You could probably make the argument you could do it from the bullets facing the left side. You could kind of go over the top and rock in. Honestly, I'm not gonna tell you guys one way to do it. This is just what I've found that works really well. And I think that my times are going to reflect the method that I've implemented. So 
ear pro back on. All right, the fastest time I had with the belt was 3.12. All right, that was a 3.86. So my slowest time with the belt was 3.66, so I'm about 0.2 seconds slower with the chest rig. Let's see if I can speed that up. That was a 3.73. Do it one more time. Again, these are very consistent, and this is cold. I haven't practiced this today. Three point nine two. All right, for science, we're gonna try to burn it down real quick. I'm gonna just try to go blazing fast. All right, that was a three point two three for science. Cool. Let me actually clear this rifle out so we don't point the gun at camera guy. Wouldn't want to do that. Stick that round back in here. All right, let's do the same thing with a pistol. So again, we're gonna start, it's a Glock 22, converted to nine millimeter. We're gonna start from the belt. And then I have 22 round mags up here in my chest rig. We're gonna analyze that and see what those look like. So, all right, let's do this. All right, that was a 3.60. Looks like I have an Alpha and a Charlie. Three point seven eight. Again, this is cold, no warm ups. Three point six seven. Definitely feel sloppy with the pistol right now, but so that was three point six seven. We'll do one more. Three point five seven. All right, do the exact same thing. Now I'm grabbing my reload from the chest rig. All right, so that was from my belt. Habit always drives my hand right here to my belt. We're gonna. This time, do it from the chest rig. So let's see, that was a 3.76. So very consistent from the belt. Let's actually get it from the chest rig. All right, that was a 4.80. Fumbled that a little bit. Let's try to clean that up. Four point three eight. All right, let's pick up some speed here. So four point nine five. Definitely fumbling more with the pistol. Just shows what I need to work on. So let's go down range real quick. We're gonna check out these hits and then talk about this. Because there's one other aspect that I wanna do with this drill that's gonna hopefully give you guys a little bit more data. So 
You can see most of them are in the A zone. I have a couple Charlies with the pistol, three Charlies, I'll call that a Charlie, two Charlies with the rifle. I threw one really high with the pistol. And sometimes that happens if I have a really bad grip and I push out and I just don't watch my dot and I break the shot. Just stuff to keep in mind. So all of those are fine. So the last piece of this puzzle, again, I'm not super happy with how the uh, pistol shooting went, but what we're gonna do this time is try to isolate the reload. What I mean by that is, we'll go back down to the 10 yard mark. We're gonna start with the pistol pressed out with the slide lock back, do the same thing with the rifle. And on the buzzer, we're simply going to grab a mag, insert the mag, drop the slide or send the bolt home and then engage the target. But this time, instead of using the cardboard, I'm gonna use a Raven target system that I have down here. This is a target system that we produce, we, we manufacture in a partnership with John Lovell over at Warrior Poet Society. The benefit of this target system in this particular instance is we're not gonna have to walk back down range. You're gonna hear the audible impacts. The Raven's a little bit bigger than an A zone. It's actually closer to a C zone in size. So actually, let us I'll show you right here on this cardboard target. So the Raven is actually about the size of a C zone. So it's a little bit bigger, still small enough for this drill that I think it'll get the point across for science. All right, since we have the pistol in my hand already, again, on the buzzer, I'm gonna be on target. As soon as the buzzer beeps, I'm gonna insert a reload and shoot. And we're just gonna check the time and that should get closer to isolating the reload. All right, so that was 2.12. Do that again. Hang on. Two point one nine. Let's do it again. It was a 1.88. Do it one more time. That was a 1.87. All right, let's holster that up. So let's do the exact same thing with the rifle. And that's data that I'm just using to eliminate the actual draw portion of this drill. Because we all know that during the draw, there's time between when you register the beep, you draw the firearm, push out, get on target, break the shot. I'm just eliminating that from the equation. Oh, I actually got ahead of myself there. We're gonna do that from the chest rig with the pistol. But that's eliminating from the equation that draw aspect just so we can kind of see how close these times are. So let's do it from the chest rig. So that was a 2.34. So again, we're about 0 0.2, 0 0.3 seconds slower with the pistol and the chest rig. One more. Right, that was really sloppy. One more for redemption. All right, 2.73. Move over to the rifle, do the exact same thing. Isolate those reloads. Two 
2.34 on that one. Two point four two, all right. Let's do that again. Two point seven five. Let's do the same thing from the chest rig now. All right, three point one four. Three point one eight. One more. All right, two point seven four. So, what's the data telling us here with this reload? So, obviously, from the belt, I'm a little bit quicker. I have a lot more time with the belt. What you notice when I coupled everything together from a push out on target, break the shot, and reload, they're very consistent. We're talking a couple tenths of a second typically between the two. So don't make the excuse that, okay, maybe you're reloading in five seconds from a chest rig. More than likely, you need to spend some time working with that chest rig. So guys, the reality is it all comes down to training. I hope that this particular set of drills helped you out in some way. If it did, leave us a comment below. Let us know if there's anything else you want us to dive into in this particular topic. If you like the Raven targets or any of the USPSA targets that we have, you can find them on our website, tatargets.com. You can also find free paper targets there as well under resources. Definitely swing over there, check it out.